Hello and welcome to this quick video around this thing here. This is the Radio Master MT12, currently running Edge TX, and it's to answer the question at the bottom of the screen. For this patron of mine called Stumpy, so Stumpy or John, this one is for you. What he's looking to do is to change and vary the amount of throttle that you get by using a switch or something else. And I think it's because he's interested in setting a crawler from looking at this question. And that is relatively easy to do. Edge TX and its predecessor OpenTX are incredibly powerful systems. And those kind of things are relatively easy to do. So let me show you how we're gonna do it. So first of all, let me highlight and press enter and create a model. This is just gonna be the one we're gonna use. And then we're just going to pan across until we get to the inputs. We've got the throttle and the steering. This version of Edge TX, it's still that way around, but you can see that channel one is throttle, channel two is the steering, and then we have the mixes. Now, by default, we can see that the throttle is channel one. If we come up all the way out of this, you can see as I pull the throttle, it goes all the way in one direction, when I push it the other way, it goes all the way in the other direction. So that's 100%. So this is model again, zoom across into the mixes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this so it changes on the switch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it, press and hold enter and press edit. And what we're gonna do is we, there are a couple of ways we can do it, but first of all, let's do it on a switch. Let's use the three position switch. We'll put it in the default setting and then that is basically saying when the switch is in this position, and we can tell it is because it's slightly bold. As I move it out that position, it moves into other stuff. So when it's in that position, we get 100% throttle. When it's not in that position, we don't get anything. So to give us the other two options, which were like a 60 and 30%, what we're gonna do, we're gonna press and hold enter again. This time we're gonna say copy. We're gonna drag it down so it's still part of channel one, and we're gonna hit enter. And this time we'll highlight it again and do edit. We will change the weight. And this will change the weight around the center position. We're gonna drop it down to 60%, which is what he was asking for. There we go. And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna select the middle switch position and hit enter. And now as we come out, you can see that in the switch in the default position, we get 100% travel. Then in the middle position, we get 60% travel. And guess what we're gonna do? We're going to make sure that we've got that second one highlighted. Press and hold the enter button. Say copy again. We're gonna again move it down. So we have three throttles on the same line. And this time we're gonna highlight it and say edit. And we're gonna drop the weight down to 30, which I think was the last one he wanted. And then we'll select the switch in the final position, we just flick it and it'll automatically detect it. Hit enter to accept that and come out. So now that means that in the default position, we get 100% throttle, both forward and reverse. In the middle position, that drops to 60. In the outer position, it drops to 30. That's the simplest way of setting it up. If, however, you wanted to use something like drive modes, you could use drive modes to select this. If you're using drive modes to change different trims, have different amount of expo, rather than set it up on the same switch, you can have it all back down to a, a drive mode. Let me just very quickly show you how to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across, and we're not gonna worry about the drive modes as much as what we're gonna do is we're gonna just get rid of all these settings. So for the 100, rather than it being set by a switch, what we'll do is we'll just highlight it so it's the three dots, which means it's disabled. And then we have the modes that this is enabled for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off for all of them apart from the default one. Zero is the default drive mode. That's the one that's gonna be enabled by default. So now, that is only gonna be drive mode zero. Next one, we'll edit it. We'll do the same thing. I'll remove the switch. And this time we'll select just drive mode one. And then finally, we'll select the third one again. Again, remove the switch. 
and then select only drive mode 2 is going to turn this on. And this is where drive mode gets really handy because you can save lots of different things and all of the kind of setting lines have this ability to set the mode. So if I now come out, you'll see that rather than it have all the switches here by the right hand side, we just have 0, 1 and 2 and those are the drive modes. So if we just go back into drive mode, which is here, we can then set the drive mode to be activated by the switch. So drive mode one is the middle position. Drive mode two is the outer position. As you can see, the reason that you can't see it is that DMO or drive mode zero is the default one. It actually works exactly the same way. So again, maximum throttle, we get 100%. And as I move it, those drive modes are in effect. So why would you maybe want to do it drive modes over switches? Well, switches are the easy way to do it. Drive modes, as I've already talked about in a couple of other videos, allow you to do lots of other stuff. If we highlight drive mode one, then you can see that we can actually give the mode a name that will appear on the screen, which can be handy. Uh, we can set it up by a switch, which we've done. It can have its own trims, which can be very handy if you're moving controls around. You can fade in and out the control. You can also have something called global variables. Those are values that can be stored that might move a servo into a very specific position or turn on lights, all kinds of different things. And if you go right down to the bottom, it'll roll around. So by using drive modes, you can set things up by drive mode, have them just assigned to a switch, and then have the drive modes then turn all those things and off and off. So hopefully Stumpy, that shows you how relatively easy this is to do. If you have any more questions, drop me a line and I'll try and help. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.